are working on an Angular oh. project. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to say code long blog. Uh, we are <laughs> code long blog. And uh, yeah. we've been working on this project that's a shared calendar app. Um, the last thing that we worked on um, is making a special route for viewing a particular event. So if I click on an event, it comes, it sends you here to this very boring looking page that uh, shows you details by the about the event. Um, and then we were also working on um, a defect where when you refresh the page, um, <clears throat> if you are not on the dashboard, it sends you to the dashboard. Um, and I believe we we're investigating why it does that. So I think we're going to continue on doing that. Didn't we? I think we actually found out why, but we just kind of ran out of time. I think so. Fixing it. But I don't remember what but, that was. Yeah, neither, neither <laughs> do I. So let's reinvestigate. <laughs> okay. So I know that in App Component, when um, we get this Firebase user loaded event, we call login user. And then login user, I believe, is what sends us to the dashboard. So uh, login yes, user. login user does stuff. It calls post login and post login. There you go. Um, sends you to the dashboard. Okay. So didn't we add that router URL, like that check on forty nine? Yeah, we did. Did that um, do so anything? Here. I bet router URL isn't what we thought. Maybe. Let's find. Oh out. yeah, do we need the snapshot or something? I don't know. Okay, so router URL is slash. Oh. Okay, it's Repping. slash, but it shouldn't be because we're actually on. We're on. This view, whatever. Right. So I think we. This is kind of coming back. Did we say that we needed like some kind of uh, guard? Did we? I don't know. Like on the view. Oh. Event? Okay. 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 Yeah. So. Um, Inside of app routes, where is that not accessible here? Uh, I thought so. Huh. much cool. So okay, we added f off guard service to this route. Um, okay. What does this do? If we're authenticated, then it goes there. Oh, that's right. Excuse me. It did do. We did do this, and then it's hitting this guard. The user's not yet authenticated, so it's saying you can't go to the new route. So it's trying okay. to go to view, and then the guard, um, right here. If I refresh this, it's going to say we're not yet authenticated. Mm -hmm. Why can't I copy? Oh, that's right. It's super weird. Because it literally Firebase, hasn't, Firebase hasn't initialized yet, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's false. So so it, it would work, but uh, we're not yet authenticated. Do we need uh, to look at local storage or something? Um, like, it, like did, uh, did we just... Did we discover that there's something in, like, I guess, how does Firebase initialize? Right. So we were looking at Firebase service. Or actually, did we want to call Firebase initialized in the guard service? Like, basically oh. say, like, if Firebase not initialized, then await the initialization. Could be. Very well could be. Um... I don't know how that's going to work, though, because, I mean, we're kind of keying off of events here, and I don't know that yeah. we can do that there. So <clears throat> I remember in user service, we changed is authenticated, didn't we? Uh, I think so. Because we, we used to have a user, ser a user in local storage, but then it wasn't actually getting set, right? Right. Well, okay, so is authenticated. I don't think that's changed yet. Because like oh, 31, right. does that even... I don't I, think that this works. This never set anywhere. You're right. Right. Okay. So, so should we re-add that? Hmm. Okay. So and I feel, like it, it's, I feel like it'd be kind of like a hack, though. Yeah, I think so, too. 
I think maybe what we need to do is either in Firebase service or user service, we need to have some sort of like some sort of state like we're we're like waiting to authenticate or something. And right okay. before we initialize Firebase, we set it to true. I wonder if we're not logged in and we refresh the app, do we get into here? Do we get an auth state changed event with nothing? Because if that's so, then, then I think we can key off of having gotten into here to like set some sort of state. So let me test this out. I'm gonna log out and then we'll go into Firebase service and set a couple of points here and refresh the page. Okay, good. So refreshing the page, <clears throat> not logged in, triggers the on auth state changed with no user so okay. maybe what we can do is in like user service we can set some sort of some sort of flag or something that says we're authenticated but not yet actually but the user isn't loaded or something um let's see let's call it um or what if we uh could we just like kind of listen to the uh the on user loaded event. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, okay. So I was so thinking, we like, know, we have to know if we're trying to load mm -hmm. versus we are not trying to load, but we're also not logged in. Because if you, if you're not logged in, but you go to this route, it shouldn't just like spin forever. It should say you're right. logged in. Right. Well, like if you go to that route, I think if you're not logged in, it's fine. Okay. Uh, and we still want where we actually have the auth guard service. Right. So, uh, well, right now the view has that auth guard service. Mm -hmm. Which I wonder if it and should. I think didn't we say that it should? Because otherwise, if we don't have it, then. Actually, what happens if we don't have it? Um, like, does that fix this? Actually, no, I don't think it would. We don't because know the we... owner. <clears throat> right. I think other than that, it might be okay. I don't. I think we still hit that uh, if URL is slash. Don't we? Maybe. Yeah, well, let's try getting rid of the other cards. I know we added it for because uh, we we thought that we had to add it. Okay, yeah, let's see what happens. So, I mean, this page should be accessible by like anyone, like a guest user. Okay, so let me comment hmm. out the is owner. Um, so we don't have a cached user. Yeah. So uh, does TypeScript support the, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like the question mark dot. Ternary? Yep. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, not like the question mark colon. I was thinking like the inline. So you'd say like this dot user service dot. Oh. Cash user question mark. I don't dot. think so. I thought that was uh I know the I thought it was slated at some point. But I, just I don't that was remember when. Thing. Maybe? I mean it's not complaining. What does that yeah. mean? Does that just mean false? Uh so in that case it would just be it would equate to nil or null. Okay. So hmm. yeah. I don't think it likes it though. Yeah. Um, what is going on with my cursor? Why is it like a? That's weird. Maybe you're getting hacked. <laughs> yeah. <maybe. laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't... Uh, you know what? That's not updated though. Oh, okay. It's not compiling. Is the problem? I think. Is that the problem? Yeah, it's not compiling. 
it thinks it's a ternary or something. Yeah, so I guess as of 3.7, it supports the uh, the optional chaining operator. Okay. So uh, what version of TypeScript are we using? Um, good question. So I think 3.8 is out now. 3.2.2? Oh. And you know what? What version of Angular are we on? Around seven, that oh yeah okay. So yeah, I think we need to use Angular nine if we want to use that because I know Angular eight only goes up to three point six. Okay. So all right, yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah, forget it for now. Yeah, we'll add a card for that. What is happening here? Also, I just opened Fubar. Okay, so it uh, is it actually fetching the data? Um, it's like going crazy right now, actually. Oh, that's weird. It like keeps refreshing. Um, hmm. That is really weird. Calendar event. Um, is it maybe? Uh, can you check your network? Where's your network? Oh. I okay, I totally didn't see that. Okay, so it isn't like it's spamming the server or anything. No, but it's like continuously erroring for some reason. Is owner. Oh, because it's calling is owner. Oh, right. Wait. Display name of null. It should just be keep keep returning false. So does calendar event not have an owner? Oh, is my data like out of sync because we refactored? Uh... I thought you fixed it though. I thought so too. Owner user ID. Yeah, because wasn't that like was that like a server side change where you look yeah. up the owner? Event control. Feels like so long ago that we did this. Yeah. So we're populating the owner somewhere. Populate. Owner. Yeah, so we did the, uh, in the network. Yeah, that's a good so, question. Uh, yeah, this one. yeah, right there. Owner is null. No. Oh, it's not populating is... it at all. Why? Is the owner ID just not there? Nope. I guess not. So, no, this is the user. So E1D is my. Yeah, user and we got ID. 6 2. So we lost the owner. Am I looking at the wrong event? Let me delete these guys. Yeah. Why would why would we? Yeah. Oh, hmm. it's because I um. It's because I um. Oh shit! Wrong guy. <laughs> it's because I just auto completed the URL instead of clicking on an event to get there. I bet this URL is bad. Oh, I gotcha. So it's a an ID ten T error. Yeah. Okay. All right. What is happening here? Holy shit! I think uh, <laughs> I think the Chrome Dev Tools are like borked. It was just like super frozen. That was crazy. All right. Let's try this one more time. Yeah. That is weird that it kept hitting it though over and over again. Yeah. Okay, so if I go here, I'm gonna copy this. If I refresh that, there we go. Now it says Dan the Man hosted by okay. you. Okay, so if I log out and then go to this URL, there you go. Hosted by Code Along Blog. Okay, so that actually works. Okay. So, oh, so if I refresh. What was, okay. What was the defect then? Like, is it, is it fixed then? Yeah, I think. I think the just by taking the guard service out. So if you log in and refresh on the view, are we fine? Mm, not sure. Let's see. So I feel like there was. I logged in and it didn't forward me to the dashboard. Oh, because I wasn't on the route. Uh, right. Right. Okay. So if I refresh, it's fine. Huh. What the hell? So. We'll... <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess that 
I guess that makes sense. We added in the guard thinking that was the problem. It wasn't the problem. We fixed yep. the problem, which was don't forward I think it was the... if you're on the route. Yes, but then I think the... that was it. But then the auth guard was preventing us from going there because we weren't logged in. Yep. Okay. All right. I think that's it, but it still feels unsatisfactory somehow. I don't know why. Hmm. All right. So I want to look at the auth guard service. Were we in the middle of changing something here? We weren't. Okay. I think we talked about, I know we talked about refactoring this can't activate to be smarter, but mm -hmm. I don't know that we need to anymore. Okay. The um, is authenticated. This isn't really valid, right? I wonder if we need something else. Like, right, I wonder if this needs to be the flag that we set depending on uh, Firebase service. Depending on this. So if we come in here with a user, we just set that flag to true. If we come in here with no user, we set that flag to false. Like, wouldn't that happen already? So like, uh, if you go, so is authenticated relies on the cached user, mm -hmm. right? So how do we get a cached user? Post login. It's on right post login. Here. So post login, okay. then on log out. Okay, so we really re this is just uh, this. I think it's just return, yeah. not not cached user. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so too. All right. Let's see if we broke everything. Sure. Have faith. All right. We're logged in. We can go here. We can refresh. We need a way to go back to the dashboard. Yeah, we do. I think if you click on uh, the icon or code long blog, it should bring you back. Yeah. All right. Oopsies. OK. OK, so I think we're good then. Um, OK, so I think we're done with this, this defect here. OK. Oh, did we want to retest that one again? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe maybe it takes two weeks. All right. Uh, it did not work. There's no space. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, we'll try again next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, view event. So we had talked about making, like, fleshing this out more. Um, because currently, actually, you know what? Let's do the clicking on this sends you back to the dashboard, just because I need to go back there now. Sure. Um. Here's our photo. So I guess uh, for me, I would say I would call the method click photo. OK. All right, fair enough. And then, then depending on the user type, it does one thing or another. Yeah, I, I know. For me, it it just makes sense that you're tying, like, uh, the the event uh, to the function that's specifically for that event. Yeah, like I, I don't know how to describe it. In my mind, it just makes sense that uh, you're clicking on the photo, so the name that uh, you're of the action that you're taking is click on photo or click on whatever. I guess that makes sense. I was originally thinking that like, depending on your, like if you're logged in or not, it would do one thing or the other. But then I realized that you have to be logged in in order to see the photo. Yeah. Which. That, hmm. This is fine. Um, yeah. Okay. So this check is actually really unnecessary because you wouldn't see the photo if you're not authenticated. So really, right. we just need to, route yep okay Pew. all right uh, i'm gonna change the style so we get a little like cursor and stuff sure avatar nice 
Oh, I already got one. But it wasn't. Oh, that was the class. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Um. Okay. Nice. So we had said that we wanted this to be more fleshed out, and it should look similar-ish to this, where if you're the owner, you can edit stuff. Yeah. Delete the event. Also, this delete button doesn't make any sense at all on the add event dialog. I just realized that. Yeah, you're right. That, that's really uh, an edit. Yeah. So I'm going to just delete that real quick. Um, yep. Add event dialog. Delete. Oh, there's delete. even the confirmation and stuff. We'll steal this. OK. Uh, where is the actual delete button? Is it It's one of these? It is. OK. Yeah. Actually, I wonder wow. if I just want to steal the whole thing. Yeah, I don't think you want to delete all of that. No, I want to copy it, and then I okay. want to delete these. Oh, I want to mm. delete this one and confirm delete. Yeah. Yep. OK. And then... The... I think we can take out all that confirm delete stuff, too. Delete, delete event. I'm going to leave this so I can copy it. OK. So I got rid of the confirm delete. Keep it on 21, the NGF. Oh, yep, you're right. All right, and then inside of view. OK. Um, so we're never going to be adding. Right. And it could be a view or edit depending okay. on who we are. So if we're owner, then it would be editing. Let's see, what is that called, is owner? I want is owner not to be a function because... Yeah, that's going to be a lot of function calls. Yeah. So do you want to say... Well, I mean, I guess the logic is pretty simple, mm -hmm. so... Uh, I think that has to go inside the uh, the uh, block there. Here? Yeah. Why? Aren't are you looking at the calendar event? Oh, we are. You're right. Yep. OK. And, and I think that could be even simpler, too. Oh, really? OK. Yeah. But we'll deal with it later. OK is owner, edit, otherwise view, oops, edit, otherwise view. <clears throat> if we have a cached user, and the cached user ID is equal to the owner user ID, should we just do this? Um, actually. Actually, maybe it can't. No, I don't think it can. still need. Yeah, I guess I was thinking that we didn't need the the tertiary, but we do because the cached user might not be right populated. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. Okay. Um, okay. So, what do we want this to look like if you are viewing? Basically, just this. Um. Well, I mean, we wouldn't have the the form. Why not? Or any, if you're if we're viewing. No, if we're editing. If you're the owner. Oh yeah, yeah. I think this is fine. Uh, I think the description needs to be bigger. Oh, it, it is a text area. Yeah, let's see what this looks like right now. Okay, I, I'm gonna um, put this entire thing in a is owner block. Actually, should I do that? Sure. Or do we want to yeah. have like individual things inside here? Um, I think it makes sense to put it in an is owner block. Okay. So then I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to say edit. OK, so that's this whole ng container. And then this ng container, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have two ng containers. So why? Oh, right, for the loading. Yeah. 
I was wondering why we had that outer, but that makes sense. So then we'll probably need to, to have like a else, like a not calendar event and show like some kind of spinner or loading indicator. Something like that. Yeah, but right. nicer. So, wow, that is beautiful. Well, it is. It feels <laughs> roomier. Okay. What happened to the... Oh, we need to... Wait, no. I was, was going to say... No dates or something. The dates are fucked up a bit. Why would yeah, they be? A funk, uh, date format. Uh, I didn't copy over any of the innards of add event dialog. So let me do that. Why do we need those though? Like save event, initiate delete, we don't need actually. Cancel delete, we don't need. Delete event, we don't need. Oh, we do need actually all this stuff. Um, dialogue ref, we don't need. Actually, don't we need it? No, it's like it's if... not a modal. Oh, I was thinking that that was the reference to like the confirm. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, didn't we say like if you like when you click delete, then it would do like an inline confirm? Is that what we yeah, did? I think so. Okay. Okay, so confirming delete. And ref. And then we don't need this stuff in here. All right, um, so in here we're setting calendar event instead of, so we're looking it up here. Um, I wonder if we want to copy it um, so that you can cancel. No, I, I don't think we need to. I think that was more for uh, the dialogue. Because uh, when you're on the dialogue, you're not, I think, uh, what was the reason for that? Since we're on a different route, when you click cancel, it should go back to the calendar, and it's going to reload all the events anyway. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so we don't need this. This we don't need. Owner user ID. Right. There was some weirdness about the owner user ID being set it, set in the dialogue as opposed to like when the, the event is created or something. You remember that? Mm. So inside of calendar. I don't think that was it. I think it was. So when you Wait. click on a day, okay. it passes in a brand new calendar calendar event with a start date and an end date. And then inside of here, right away, it sets the owner user ID. And we didn't remember why it was done that way. Uh, I think the reason why is because we didn't want to inject the user service in the caller. Is that why? It's already there. Yeah, I, I think we could have passed in okay. owner user ID. Okay. Um, all right. Well, regardless, um, this is happening. Yeah, I, I think we could clean that up just by putting it actually, back. We can just delete it from here because um, actually from, sorry, here. We can delete it from here. Yeah. Because we definitely have one at this point. Right. Okay. All right. So why is this blowing up? And the save event could be simpler too. Okay. Because we're doing a save and an update. Ah, okay, right. Subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So why was this blowing up? Date format is not a function. 
Yeah, that's what date I don't get. Format. Oh, because date wasn't imported. No, like we're on the in the HTML, we're passing in the date. Did we uh, in the caller for the add dialog? Are we passing in a moment or something? Color it's like on the. So I think, uh, who was it the calendar? Yeah, so like 75. Yeah, we're converting them into moments. Oh, OK. OK. So on. <clears throat> Why didn't we do that in the time dialog or the time component? I don't know. We should. Yeah. OK, so time selector has. date is a moment but in our case it's not actually a moment is that the problem we're passing we're inputting a date but in our view event whatever component we're not passing in moments we're passing in dates right and there's no type checking there right uh so, where we where do we pass it in oh on 27 okay um so what what would be the fix here i guess is this this date would be a date and then it would convert it to a moment where do we do that like in it'd be the in the ng on init maybe okay so do we just say if date instant or yeah instance of date mm. or how do we like how, how do we say like it's weird because um because when we save the date, it's it would be a moment, not a date. Date, right? I wonder if that matters. Uh, I think didn't we patch that like in the uh, the service? Like I feel like we converted it into a uh, into a string. Yeah, forty eight. Oh no, that's a search. A search. Update just past convert the calendar. calendar event. Oh, that's on the result though. And these converted into moments. Huh. I do not remember doing this at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's... Okay. So all right, let me let's breakpoint this and make sure that that's actually happening. We're we're coming in here with dates, not moments. Yeah. It it seems like it should be a moment. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Hold on. View event component forty eight. Forty eight. Oh. I'm missing. There we go. Oh, actually, in those subscribes, eventually we don't have to do it now. Uh, we have to route back to the dashboard. Because once you save it, or oh, delete okay. it. Okay, okay, sure. Also, I think I have an extra bracket here somehow. Okay. So when I come in here, pew. Uh, Time selector component. Okay, so inside of view event component, uh, we'll just do it right here. Yep. So we're calling calendar event service dot get. Does dot get? Oh, does that not map it? It, it doesn't. doesn't. So maybe okay. We just need well. To do this. Yep. Why did we not do it? I honestly, I don't even remember doing this in the first place, so I can totally see us just. Uh, I don't think we care about the, the delete that one. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't delete typically return the object you deleted? I don't remember. Oh. Um, does it return like a two hundred four? Yeah, it, like the traditional REST way. I I don't know. Okay. Okay, so that seems to have worked. Okay. Oh wait, no, it didn't. Uh... No. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Save. Cancel. Save. Oh, I'm getting errors over here. Cannot read close. Oh, what am I still closing? Ah. Did I lose something? This is. I don't think so. View event component, cancel. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that dialogue. Yes, yeah, so we want to. You want to create another click event for that? Uh, so what are we going to do for the, for the delete? Are we still going to do the inline confirmation? Um, well, let's see what happens. Sure. Yep. We're still going to do that. Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. And it seems to have worked. All right. So you're right. We need to re redirect back to, uh, the dashboard here. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a router. So have you cut your hair yet? No. I uh, no. ordered clippers, um, and they should be here next week, I think. Hmm. Are you going to cut your hair yourself? Yep. That's the well, Actually, no, my wife is going to do it. Is okay. The, that's the plan. We'll see. Are you I'm just going to, like, goes. shave it? Um, No, I'm going to try to do what I've got now. So it's, like, shorter. Oh, I'm just going to buzz the sides and then buzz the top, but a little longer. And then I don't know if I'm going to scissor cut the bangs or what. Maybe I'll just buzz it longer even still. Gotcha. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, you my can just hair has really been bothering me because it's, like, touching me. I'm not used to that. You should just get uh, paste. That's what I do. Just go back. Yeah, but then um, I don't know. It is getting pretty long. Yeah, and and like it's, I don't know. Headphones will mess with it, and I wear headphones a lot, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll see. <laughs> All right, a save yeah. event. So I'll update. Set it to 12 p.m. Save. Okay, I don't think it actually saved, but I am. Why is it one o? It's one o one p.m. Yeah, that was the original time, I think. So if I if I make it. Oh. Okay. And time six a.m. and I save. It doesn't actually save it, or did it, and it just didn't update. Ah, refreshing. This. No. Uh, right. This needs to update when. Uh, when I'm like logged in. When oh, wait. Happens. Hang on a second. Why? This is owner is triggering before the user's loaded because we don't have that guard. Oh, right. Yes. So we have to. Is it user service that has the event? Is that why we decided to put the guard there to make sure that that's been triggered? Maybe, yeah. Because is owner used to be a function, so it'd be basically continuously triggered or executed. Right. Yeah, because I think it's kind of weird to like put a on user load in listener in here. Random component. Yeah. Yeah. Like especially since this is a defect, even though we're logged in, then when it refreshes, it's like a a race condition. Yeah. So then we'd but. have to do the thing that I was thinking of in the user, what is it called? Auth guard service, where if we're in the process of authenticating, we have to wait for that to happen. Otherwise, yeah. we return whether or not we're authenticated. Yep. Okay. So do we want to do that right now? I guess we can. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So we need some kind of flag, I think is authenticating so the idea then is we would say if authenticating now when would you set is authenticating to true um inside of oops it's not here <laughs> oh my gosh i hope not <laughs> um basically right here oh we don't have a user service Shit. right Okay. Basically, we would do it in app component. 
where so Firebase service init right before here. Authenticating. And then inside yeah. of here. Oh, but we don't want user service in here. Right. Go back to app component. So we'll what is? Yeah, I think that makes sense, right? Or we, actually, we really want to do it after all this stuff in post login. Uh, yes, actually, exactly right there after cached user. Yeah. Basically, I think we, that should. Be well, not only there, but also the uh, the Firebase unload. seems weird that we do it here and yeah. not there. Well, what about in here? What do you mean? We could do it um, here. Logout. Do we call logout? I think it does get called here. Unlo uh, user unloaded is oh. triggered in okay. here. So I think that should work. So then in the auth guard huh. service. That seems weird though, like log out authenticating fault. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I, I know that I mean, this should work, but it, it's just a little confusing. Yeah. Um, so now how do we listen for that event? To... So we have to say on login dot subscribe dot pipe. Oh, actually, return on. Oh, there we go. That pipe map. I think this is what we want. <clears throat> so if we're in okay. the process of authenticating, then we mm -hmm. return an observable for when the on login is triggered, we return whether or not we're logged in. Right. Oh. Okay. But what about? If they're logging on... out. Right. So I think we need like a on authenticated that is triggered regardless. Yeah. So, instant. Mm. But okay. So does authenticated? Uh, the when you say someone is authenticated, does it make sense that they're authenticated as a guest? Like, does that make sense at all? I think. Like, if, I feel like authentication means that in, not identified the user. Right. So maybe authenticating isn't the right word. Well, I think authenticating still works because just because you're authenticating doesn't mean you are you're going to be logged in. It means you're like attempting yeah. to see if you're logged in, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And, and it yeah. might return false. So I th yeah. think I think then what we want to do is in app component. Uh, no, I lied. Inside of here, instead of here, we want to say this dot this dot next true. Okay. And false. Sure. And then inside of here, we return just this. Uh, not on login. It's done authenticating. Oh, right, right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I think so. Uh, is that, wait, is that really how it works? You're returning the function? That is yeah, a I guess subject. You're... It's not a function. 
So you don't need to like subscribe to that or anything. No, nope, because we're returning the observable. Okay. I think this should work. Let's see. All right. Sure. I don't think I liked it. Oh, you didn't initialize oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't complain about these. Hmm. Okay. Am I logged okay. in, though? I, don't, I, I am. So why didn't it work? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. Um, we didn't add the guard service. To the oh, power. right. Yep. Boom. Nice. All right. Huh. Okay. Now log out and go back to that uh, URL. Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> Not that one. It might have been that one because um, when you log in, hmm. um, so what is happening here? Is it because we're calling logout and it's navigating to blank? I think that's what it is. But that's only if you have a cached user, which we shouldn't. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Our URL is already blank. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Oh, because in the guard service, <clears throat> we don't actually care if you're logged in. We we just did the exact same thing we did before, where we added the guard service to this route, but we don't actually care if the user's logged in. So oh, so we turning false. So don't authenticating. We just need to listen to that and return true. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay. But even if we're not authenticated, we need to not return. Oh, yeah. So that should return true. I think we it... need a different guard. It just uh, wait for the user to load guard as opposed to a is authenticated guard. Okay. I think that's what we need because um, yeah. we don't care if the user's authenticated. Right. We just care that the user's been loaded. Yeah. So I'm going to okay. call this. Has the user been loaded yet, guard service? Yeah. <laughs> user load guard service copy. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, I think that's what we want. I think so. Okay. So then this is now the user load guard service. So then is it is the auth guard service still valid as is? I, I think, think it is. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Did you add it to uh, the module? Okay. Never mind. You are all over it. All right, that should work perfectly. You want to bet? Okay. Let me uh, get that uh, that route. I should delete all the bad routes. Yeah, you should. Okay. So I'm gonna go here. Yep. I'm gonna log out. That's good. I'm going to go here. 
Nice. We are here. I can refresh. I can log awesome. in. Awesome. I'm logged in. Ah, but it didn't re-trigger the thing because we didn't change routes. Right. <laughs> Jeez. Son of a bitch. So. So we could still put that logic in there <laughs> for one that. Uh... So you, uh, in the view event, should we just add the on uh, user loaded? Or, or, is there a way to trigger like a reload or a refresh of the page? So like when you log in, uh, if we are not going to the dashboard, so like in that we have like a that if condition, if we say else, then we refresh the page, right? Because that's really what we want. I'm sorry, say that again. So in user service, uh, line 48, we're saying if the router URL is, is the root, we go to the dashboard. We also, we, we really need to say else, refresh the page. Ah. And then that would fix this for everything because it shouldn't really matter where we are in the app. We should always force a refresh of the page. Hmm. I just don't know if we can do that in Angular. I think we can. Okay. I mean, I guess we could do like a what is the window reload, but I, I feel think, like there's um, be... we have to do that, and then we also have to do something to the route to tell it to to reload, even though the URL hasn't changed. Okay. Maybe. Um, there's like a location service, right? Maybe. That may or may not work. No provider for location. Okay. We could also do the window service. Use window dot location. Uh, that you could do that too. So. What if we look at the uh, reload, the current route? Because I, I don't know that I like this uh, window, no, window refresh. Location. No. Oh, you know what? It didn't import it. Is it an Angular core? Angular common? All right, let me try the import real quick. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay, so there is no reload on the Angular location. Okay. I know there's like a window location. That's probably what we need, but I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, like, I, I feel like a full refresh of the page is too harsh. Yeah. Um. So... What we can do is, if we can say, if we can get the the uh, the path, then couldn't we just say this router navigate to route, and then uh, we do what you were saying about the uh, that property that that yeah, forces us we could to do reload. That. Um, another thing that I was thinking that maybe is a better way to do it. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Is we could put something in base component that we could put like the i don't know something in base component that gets re re-executed when the user's loaded like maybe that is owner flag will just always be on there or um, mm. i so feel like it like i feel like uh 
then if we have like another route that we want to refresh, like depending on if they're logging in or not, I feel like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I think at this point, I'm fine with any approach. Like, no, they they all have their pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know which is less hacky to force yeah. reload the page, or to have some sort of service that, like, whenever, whenever, like, the user service or whenever a user is loaded, then just like have something on all components essentially that can trigger a reload of whatever functions you want. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Or do we well, just it... do we just bite the bullet and just listen to the user service on user load inside of here and then eight components down the road if we find that we're doing this all over the place then we think of something? No, I don't want to do that. Okay. So, uh So it is 8 o'clock. So let's add a card. And we'll just kind of think about it. Okay. Let me also just try this. Maybe this isn't so bad. Sure. I think this is just window location. Okay. Um... Oh, we're in like a perma ref. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So oh. this... <laughs> That's probably. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Uh... Okay. That's not the way, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, let's sleep on it, and uh, maybe we'll think of something another yeah. time. Okay. So, uh, all right. Pretty good progress today. Um, yep. So hopefully we'll stream again next Monday. Um, yep. Same time, same place. And yep. uh, thanks for joining us. All right. We'll see you. Okay.